Uh, Zongo and uh, welcome to our presentation. Uh, and good evening to everyone. It is 7 p.m. here in Bhutan. Uh, I am Pup Dorji, currently undergoing Master's in Education at Samsi College of Education, Bhutan. Uh, Ms. Sonam Chodin and I will quickly take you through the education in Bhutan. Uh, firstly, Bhutan is a small landlocked country located in the southern slope of eastern Himalayas. It is nested in the midst of two giant countries, China in the north and India in the south, west and east of Bhutan. It has a size of about 38,394 square kilometer with a population of 735,553 uh, as of PHCV 2017. Uh, education in Bhutan. Uh, under the Ministry of Education, we have three departments, Department of School Education, Department of Adult and Higher Education, Department of Youth and Sports. Uh, DSC looks after all the school matters. Uh, in order to cater to the needs of DSC, we have two teacher colleges, Samsi College of Education and Paro College of Education. Uh, Samsi College of Education focuses on producing secondary educators, that is BH secondary and PGDE. It also offers master's degree for administrators, uh, master's degree for secondary uh, teachers. Now. On the other hand, Paro College of Education focuses on producing primary educators, that is BH primary, and uh, Dongka teacher, the national language teachers for all grade levels, PP2. Uh, in addition, we have Yonpla Centenary, uh, Centenary College, uh, which offers a Master's of Art, Master in Arts for English teachers. Uh, Royal Education Council is solely responsible for curriculum development and change. And in Bhutan, uh, uh, curriculum is prescribed and seen throughout the country. Uh, we have about uh, 9,200 teachers and 166,000. 786 students. Uh, general education. Until 1950s, uh, education in Bhutan was mainly monastic. However, uh, modern education expanded since first five-year plan in 1961. Uh, the general education comprises of 11 years of free basic education from PP to 10. And uh, the medium of instruction uh, in the school is English for all the subjects, except Dongka subject, which is taught in Dongka, the national language of Bhutan. The general education structure comprises of primary school, PP to 6, lower secondary, 7 to 8, middle secondary, 9 to 10, and higher secondary, 11 to 12. Since many students need to work from long distance uh, in primary school, uh, extended classroom, ECRs, are estab uh, were established to cater to the needs of remote uh, students. Uh, the right age for admission in PP is six years and above. However, in 2019, uh, the age, admission age is brought down to five years and above. And many students, are, uh, children are fortunate enough to get enrolled in ECCD, Early Childhood uh, Care and Development Center, before they are enrolled in, in first year of pri uh, primary education. The Bhutan Council for School Examination and Assessment uh, look after the common examinations in the country and uh, conduct common exams for classes three and six in primary schools. Uh, we have about 317 primary schools, 74 ECR, uh, 379 ECCD with uh, 820 facilitators, 2,481 primary teachers and 89,894 primary students. Uh, almost all teachers in primary schools uh, have qualifications of bachelor degree and we have a very little number of uh, masters and PhD in primary schools. ICT in primary education uh, took up very recently. In 2009, uh, 200 numbers of XO laptops were distributed to 21 primary schools. In 2010, uh, 300 classmate PC distributed to 15 primary schools. Uh, and in 2016, ICT curriculum for classes four to six were uh, completed and implemented in 2017. Soon, ICT curriculum for classes PP to three will be implemented as per iSharing, that is Education ICT uh, Master Plan. 
Uh, with this, uh, I complete my, I end my presentation here and hand over the presentation to Ms. Sonam Chodin. She will continue from here. Thank you. Plus, uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening, uh, Sonam. I would like to uh, uh, share on curriculum in yes. primary education and teaching and learning in primary uh, education in Bhutan. Okay, thank you. Would you be sharing your screen? No. No, Pupsar is going to share. Okay, okay fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, at the primary level, students learn basic literacy and numeracy skills, knowledge on country's history, geography, culture, and tradition, health and hygiene, and population education. Moral and value education are given priority through activity based learning. The subjects studied in particular are Dzongkha, that is our national language, English and mathematics in classes PP to three, and addition of science and social studies in classes uh, four to six. In terms of assessment, uh, continuous formative assessment, CFA, continuous summative assessment and term and summative examinations are carried out for students' promotion to the next grade. However, under the initiative of new government in close collaboration with the Royal Education Council, the schools have already geared in implementing CFA alone in classes PP to three, beginning 2020 academic session after receiving nationwide uh, workshop for uh, all primary teachers on the protocol of CFA. Now, uh, I would like to share a little on teaching and learning experiences in primary education me having had the experience of teaching in classes PP2, 6, and as also 7, 8. Uh, we, when it comes to teaching uh, in the law classes, classes PP2, 3, we start with very simple everyday greetings and then personal and personal values and good habits through demonstration, imitation, and modeling. And uh, we teach uh, three subjects in classes PP2, 3, uh, one being math and two are languages. And they are taught uh, focusing on four strands, that is reading, writing, listening, and speaking. And uh, I would like to share here to the, the audience that English in Bhutan is our second language, and to some students, it is their third language. And when we teach the languages, we start with, especially in English, we start with phonological awareness, that is teaching the sounds first, then we go to segmenting and blending gradually, and then sounding the words. And then we also have to start with print awareness. That is the, the component of a book, uh, the back uh, book cover, back and front, uh, top to bottom. And the print letters run from left to right, uh, unless, uh, I mean, un unlike in some languages, which run from top to bottom. And then we also uh, include a lot of read aloud activities in our languages in order to give the forum for children to uh, learn new vocabularies. And we also insert rhymes and songs so that children in law classes, especially in class PP to three, they enjoy the language class and then learn the new words. And regarding textbooks, from classes PP to three, we have the uh, readers, which are very, very thin textbooks, uh, includes a lot of uh, stories. But when we look into classes uh, four to eight, we have textbooks that cater to genres, uh, that is uh, short stories, essays and pictures are there. And then we also include a lot of reading stories, reading and telling stories in all, in both languages, so that children learn that books have titles, authors, and has illustrations and illustrators. And then children also start writing a, a reading log books from class two onwards. And then when they reach to uh, uh, higher classes, like classes four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, they start book reviews, also, start writing book reviews also. And then we also, uh, the Kagan structures were introduced in Bhutanese uh, classroom from 2016 onwards. And then these structures encourage learning, uh, cooperative learning, uh, which in, uh, enhances communication and comprehension. And then the, the cultural values and personal values are also taught through theme-based uh, genres that are embedded in the text that they have. Now, uh, coming to mathematics, uh, the current mathematics curriculum is taught in Bhutanese curriculums under five strands. Uh, uh, these are numbers and operations, measurement, geometry, data management, probability, patterns, and algebra. And the current uh, new curriculum was introduced in uh, Bhutanese uh, school in, in 2006 onwards, and the whole introduction was completed in 2013. It's very recent. 
understanding of mathematics is enhanced through competences like reasoning, mathematical communications, connection, representation and problem solving and decision making through CRT strategy. CRT strategy stands for CE concrete, that is teachers and students make good use of manipulatives and uh, uh, hands-on practices uh, to learn uh, the concept through uh, hands-on experiences. And then we have the representational part that is uh, done through manipulative chalkboard and chart paper and uh, some, uh, you know, uh, everyday materials that we have in our classrooms. And then we finally, we climb up a little higher, that is the more abstract part in abstract uh, con uh, concept in mathematics learning. And that is built on, uh, you know, concrete learning and representational uh, learning. And uh, we also use Kagan structures in mathematic uh, teaching and learning uh, as well. Uh, uh, that's how we do the, I mean, the primary uh, curriculum is taught in uh, Bhutanese classrooms. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sunam and N4 for the presentation. Can you please stop sharing? Thank you. Thank you, Fubha and Sonam, for the uh, great presentation. So you gave a good overview of the general education in Bhutan, the qualifications needed, the educational landscape were, were well explained in the presentation, how RCT in, in primary education is actually being taught. And you also gave a, um, an overview of the curriculum in the primary education in Bhutan, focusing on moral and, and value, values education principally the activity-based learning. You also talk about the assessment, collaboration with Royal Education Council. And lastly, you talk about teaching and learning experiences in primary, mainly personal values and good habits, which are the core values. And you give, you focus on the mass curriculum, talking about the, the Kagan uh, structures and cooperative learning. Thank you very much for the presentation. We will take the questions at the end of all the presentations. Thank you very much.